CBS 17 News. Tonight, the Orange County Sheriff is expressing his own frustration about the investigation into the deaths of two teens. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. I'm Rod Carter. Glad you could join us tonight. The Sheriff says he knows people want more information about this case, but right now he just cannot give that information out. He did release this statement, though, within the past half hour. I understand how frustrating this is, and it may even seem unfair. To be honest, some of it seems unfair to me. However, my first duty was to determine who was responsible for this horrible tragedy and present that person to the court system. Now it is my duty to protect the integrity of this case and the rights of the individual involved. CBS 17's Brea Hollingsworth continues our coverage live from the Orange County Sheriff's Office after speaking with the district attorney. Brea. Angela, that's right. One person is now in custody in connection with the shooting deaths of 18-year-old Devin Clark and 14-year-old Lyric Woods. Now, the senior assistant district attorney told me that the next steps in the case are that the teen suspect will appear in front of a judge for a secure, secure custody hearing. Weeks after the shooting of 14-year-old Lyric Woods and 18-year-old Devin Clark, a person is now in custody. The Orange County Sheriff's Office made the announcement Wednesday, but are staying tight-lipped about any further details on the team. For very good reasons, there are, there are very clear laws about what we're allowed to release publicly so long as this case remains in the jurisdiction of the juvenile court. The news was a big relief for Devin Clark's mom. For them to have the suspect in custody, it took a little bit off of my chest, just a little bit. But to find out who done it and why, it'll be, it'll be some more, a bigger release off of my chest. Senior Assistant District Attorney Jeff Neiman says right now the case is in the hands of the juvenile court. The next steps are that the uh, juvenile will be taken before a district court judge for a secure custody hearing. And essentially it's the equivalent of a, a bond hearing in adult court, except for an adult court, a judge often will make a determination about a monetary amount that the person can or must post to be released awaiting trial. There's no money involved at the juvenile uh, level. It's simply a, a, a decision of whether or not the person will be remain in custody or will be released. And Now, as for if the DA's office plans to try the teen as an adult, the senior assistant district attorney told me that they have not decided. So what all goes into trying a teen as an adult? He'll explain the process coming up at 6. In Orange County, Brea Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News. All right, thank you, Brea.